Hey what's going on my name is Amir and this is Backbrace channel. Today we are going to study together the primitive data types in Rust programming language. As you know Rust is statically typed programming language which means that you need to define the data type of the variable you're declaring. The primitive data types are also called scalar data types like the int, the float, the boolean value and the char. These are the primitive data types. So let's take each one independently. Let's take together the integer. So Rust has signed and unsigned types of different sizes. The signed, which means it could be plus or minus, they are i8, i16, i32, i64, i128. These are signed integers, could be plus or could be minus. They can hold positive values or negative values. However, the unsigned integers hold only positive values. They are u8, u16, u32, and so on. So let's take a look to an example together. Uh, we'll create the main function. And uh, I will have x. And x is going to be of data type i32. I'm going to explain to you what is i32, what's the difference between uh, 8, 16, 32, 64. For example, we'll take the difference between those but the concept is the same basically the main difference lies in the size and the range of the values they can represent so the smaller the number the smaller the size and range they can have and the bigger the number the bigger the size and range they have this is in brief but i will uh, talk a little bit about that in a moment so x is going to hold value of 42 so it's i32 this can be by the way negative it's okay and also we can have y and this variable is of data type u64 um, for instance but in this case it should only hold a positive value okay because it's u okay it could be u32 u64 whatever and let's print together i'll say signed integer and this is the placeholder and here I want the X and the same for the Y so here unsigned integer and we want the Y let's take a look okay now we have um, the executable file let's run the main and we'll have signed integer minus 42 and unsigned integer 100 what will happen if I will put in the positive value a negative value here? Let's do Rust C main RS again, and we have a compiling error. Let's take a look what the compiler says. It says here cannot apply unary operator minus to type U64. Okay, that demonstrates what we're saying. So let's um, remove that. Let's save, run again. Basically, the i32, it can take 32 bits of data, and this here can take 64 bits of data. But what else? The range. The range for the i32 can vary from 2 to the power of 31 in a negative value to 2 to the power of 31 in positive value while the i64 from 2 or minus 2 to the power of 63 to positive 2 to the power of 63. And let's take a look quickly. So um, let's say let e have 32 with the maximum value of, let's take this one, okay. And also let's do here for the 64. And both of them are the largest positive values. More than that, you will have a compiling error. And we have printed everything. So let's go ahead and check that out. Uh, let's compile everything. So good. We don't have any compiling errors. Good. Maximum value of i32 and maximum value of i64. What will happen if we'll increase this, for example, by 9? And here we'll increase it to 8. Save that. Run again. And we have a compiling error. We have uh, the literal, this number does not fit into the type i32, whose range is this. So this is the maximum, okay? And the same case goes here. 
we have changed to nine while the maximum should be to seven. And it says here that consider using U32 and U64. The main difference, actually the U32 and U64 are a bit larger than the I32 and I64, but not by much. Okay, it's just the compiler is suggesting what you can do in this case. If you have more number of bits to be allocated to a certain variable, but um, in case that it's not fitting to that data type, you should change the data type or you should consider using a larger data type. In this case, uh, it could be the um, I128, for instance, if I64 is not enough. So U64 and U32 are larger. Uh, the whole the whole thing actually from U8 to one U28 are a bit larger than the I8 to I128. And that has to do with the power. So if the I is 2 to the power of 63, U is 2 to the power of 64. Okay, so that's as far as the integers. Let's go now and take a look to float. The float simply represent numbers with fractional parts. I think you know what a float is. So we have only two. We have F32 and F64. These are the floating point types that we have in Rust. And now let's take an example. So let's create the famous pi. That's going to be of data type F64. That's going to be 3.14. And uh, let's print that. And we'll say value of pi. Okay, let's take a look. Okay. And we don't have any problems. Value of pi 3.14. Next, we have the Boolean values. So, Boolean values, as you know, are whether true or false. So, let's have an example. Let is snowing of data type bool, that's the data type, B double O L equals to true. And be careful, true is not capitalized. I mean, the T is not capitalized. Don't forget the semicolon. And uh, let's do print line. I'll say here, is it snowing? And we'll pass here is snowing. All right, let's run that. Okay, we didn't have any compiling errors. Is it snowing? True. And finally, we have the char or the character type. And the character type actually represents a single Unicode scalar value. Okay, so that's a Unicode character type. So for instance, letter X, letter Z, you know, whatever it can be. So I'm going to uh, declare a variable called letter and I'm going to define the data type to be char for that variable and I'm going to assign a value to this a in single quotation and now let's print that line and let's say first letter of the alphabet for example is and we'll pass the letter all right let's to rust main uh, dot rs we didn't have any compound errors good main and we have first letter of the alphabet a okay that simply uh, sums it up these are the four data types uh, or the four primitive data types that we have in rust thank you and i will see you in the next lesson